Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Yokai Watch and in the previous episode we got a tiny bit sidetracked with Yokai Fusion but now we're going to be resuming the main story quest which is to get a swimming type Yokai to help out our bro bear. I don't know if he's our bro. In the first episode, he was kind of making fun of us. But hey, whatever friends do that, right? <laughs> if your friends don't make fun of you, your enemies will. That is probably a bad mentality. But aside from that, that is not our only goal. I'm going to try and find a yokai that we've been able to obtain a while in Springdale. And heck, I might as well show you the... Medallium. I always forget the name of that for some reason. You can actually check the medallion whenever you want if you go to the info tab and, well, Wisp will bring up his iPad or I forget what they call it in the anime, but yes, we want to open up this page of the medallion super badly. We need a Lidoni, a Draggy, a Haperi, and a Castellium. Luckily for us, a Lidoni is very easy to obtain. Ish. I'm gonna be honest, he's not the easiest yokai to find, but he is pretty easy to recruit since his standards are basically a little low. And, well, you may have actually run into him before I have, but yeah. He is located over near the riverside, basically, but it's a little hard for him to turn up. But we'll, we'll discuss more worries at later. What's going on here? <laughs> Nate, calm down, dude. It's not that serious. <laughs> As uh, two women are apparently discussing something in a flying plate? Come on, at least tell me you see us, UFO. That's true, I saw it, I swear. Flying plates? Next you'll be telling me about little blue men running around. <laughs> this lady has a terrible sense of humor, and you have to believe. <laughs> this lady's like, I actually saw aliens, why wouldn't you believe me? And speaking of, did you record last night's nice episode? It's like, you're, you're just gonna sit there and make fun of her, and then you expect her to be nice, I don't know. And I forget about Kappas have bald spots, kind of like plates. Maybe. <gasps> it was a Kappa. I think you're right on the money there, Nate. Ooh, so there's a Kappa near here, which, if it's traditional mythology Kappa, it would be kind of scary, because they're not the friendliest folk, and maybe this Kappa was too tired to probably hide its plate. Oh, that's interesting. If a yokai doesn't eat or feels weak, it can't hide itself. So it might be somewhere in the riverbank. Well, let's go and try and find it. And I know exactly where it is because I played the game yesterday. Why does this flower look so different than everything else here? Hmm, could it be a yokai? In fact, it is. All you gotta do is bust out that watch. The yokai watch. I, I, did I even need to say that? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> to reveal. Wakapa. I love this guy to death, dude. I don't, I don't know what it is. I just like him. And, uh, hello there. This is a Wakapa. He's one of the Kappa Yokai. Wait, you mean there's multiple kinds? He seems really tired. You're talking to me? Who are you? <laughs> uh, I'm Naden. Are you okay? I don't know. I was training really hard for next Kappa swim meet. I got so wrapped up in training that I kind of forgot to eat. No, I've been there before, man. Oh, God. I'm starving. I'm so weak. If only I could get my hands on some fish. Fish sounds pretty good to me too right now, actually, and... Oh god, he's not doing so hot. Yeah, if only I could eat some fish! But I'm so hungry, I can't even move! If someone could catch me a fish, I'd do anything for the... Oh... Wink. I, I get what you're saying, Walkap, but I, I... I got it! I'm gonna go find someone that can fish! Or us, and did you read anything about <laughs> passive aggressive tendencies? I'd love to help you, man. All right, yeah. Would you get me some fish if you had a fishing wad? Um, sure. Aces! I just happen to have a fishing rod right here. Uh, uh, that's rather convenient. What a yokai was doing with a human sized fishing rod that is probably way bigger than it. I'll never know. And I'll take three cop, please. Hey, man, beggars can't be choosers. Don't worry if they're the rare kind, I'll take the normal ones. You should be able to catch some right here in the river. That's oddly convenient, and I thought we were going to be the ones asking for the favor. Well, I don't know if they was asking technically, but <laughs> we'll give it a shot. Sounds good. Three cob coming up. Alright, so now we get to go fishing. Admittedly, I really like fishing. I used to do it a lot as a kid, but I kind of just stopped. But yeah, fishing in Yokai Watch is very similar to the bug catching. All you gotta do is wait. Where are the duh? oh? There's a yo. I didn't. I wasn't even paying attention. There's a yokai here, but that one's really lame. I think I'll pass on. That. <laughs> Honestly, we already battled that enemy, and it is a mediocre yokai at best. What we're really here to do is fish. Now fishing. All you gotta do 
is stop it on the... Are you kidding me? Okay, well, hopefully we will get this next carp and not get stinking unlucky. What? I, uh, I, I'm not mad. I'm just impressed that I, I'm this unlucky. I mean, you could say there's like skill and timing the you know the thing and all, but honestly, it feels a lot like luck. Anywho, let's try again at another set. Whoa. I'm not sure. Well, I do not think I can catch this thing. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to use bait to increase your odds of- Oh. My god, dude. <laughs> can I just catch a single carp today? Holy cr- This has been the worst demonstration. This is easier than- Okay, there we go. We caught a carp. Now we just need to get two more. And all right. That is my third carp. Ironically enough, the second I stop recording, it becomes really easy. You're not recording, but just, you know. It made the cut, the incision, whatever you want to call it. Kappa, here's your sinking food, dude. Enjoy. I'm starving. It's a week for fish. Oh, the cat manatee. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you're in luck then, because I caught you some fish right here. Hyah! Just throw, throws all the carp, and they act, he accidentally misses and hits the river, and they just wash away. Look at the yeah. Uh, no problem, man. Well, maybe this walk cycle's only- Look at him eat the fish, it's so cute, oh my god! Thanks. I was hoping you'd surprise me with some sashimi, but that's okay. <sighs> you can't- <sighs> get This guy. <laughs> Thanks to you, I'm full of energy now! How can I repay the favor? Well, actually, since you asked, I need a yokai who's good at swimming. There's something I need to do back in Catfish Pond. Can you help me? Sure! Easy as seaweed pie. Yeah, well, actually, it might be pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> Thinking of, like, seaweed on sushi, and that's always pretty great. But yes, we have befriended the yokai, Wow Kappa. He's amazing. <laughs> Another charm yokai has been added to our arsenal, and he will no doubt be extremely helpful in finding, well, Bear's mom's ring. We need to get that ASAP, and yeah, he's actually pretty darn good, and this is good. We made a valuable new friend here, Nate. Indeed. How we can find us that ring? Take me to get his mind! All right, Mr. Bossy, but before we do that, I want to talk about this lead Oni that I've kind of just forgot about. Basically, he can show up here, but since there's so many trees, your chances may be a little bit low. What you need to look for areas like this. That is where the lead Oni will be. Now, there's a lot of areas like this, and a very specific house. So I'm gonna cut real quick to when I get one back near Triangle Park. And all right, I have finally befriended Lily Lead Oni. Didn't really take that long. Leadoni. Or is it Leadoni? I don't, it, it's Lead Oni, right? I don't, I always figure because he leads you places, but yeah, once we get out of this battle, I will show you the location that has a ton of Lead Oni, and if they don't appear, just go to your room and, you know, nap. And they should be here. And nice. Only, wait, how many? Yeah, three yokai until we unlock that page in the medallion. But yeah, this house right next to Triangle Park has so many lead oni. They should be no problem to get. But yeah, now that's been taken care of, we need to go to Catfish Pond. And I need to pay more attention to my stamina meter. That is getting really annoying for all you guys, I'm sure. But yeah, all we have to do now is take Wall Kappa all the way up to where Bear is. And we haven't actually shown this side of uh, Mount Wildwood, so I guess I might as well show it now. But yeah, just keep going north. You've been in this mountain plenty of times, especially if you keep using Crank Yoka, or, uh, I always think that's part of the road and I just keep going, I'm so stupid. But yeah, I I'm starting to notice, man. There's a little bit of traveling in this game. Anyone else notice that? I wonder if we'll have a way to make that go by a little bit faster. <laughs> okay, so I'm hinting to things that are not happened yet, but yeah. We need to visit the IPO. Why are we visiting the IPO, you may be wondering? Well, it pains me to do this, guys, but honestly, we need to switch up the team again. And I know people are gonna get mad at me, but that's just how I, I like, honestly, look at this guy. We have to use him. Also, his ability to be uh, carefree and recover HP, not bad, I gotta say. That's actually pretty decent if you are gonna, you know, just loaf around. You might as well get HP back. Let's see, hmm. 
I really do want to show Caden's evolution off, but I feel like we've just been using him for so long, and honestly, Tattletale isn't the most helpful anymore. I mean, honestly, like, carefree in general, that is a really good attitude to have, and healing up Yokai is nice, but... I can just do that too, so I don't really know. I think of just making like a whole team of charming yokai though might actually be pretty helpful because it seems the benefit of having a similar team is pretty darn good. And honestly, right now, my team's okay. I'll put him at a D rank. In fact, I think the lowest is Caden, which well, we may be adjusting later on. But enough of me hinting at things that have not happened yet. I'm tired of doing that. Let's go help Bear. And we never actually went to this fork in the road. This is the other side of Mount Wildwood, where we can find Sue, some D rank yokai. Why don't we do that wherever, wherever the heck it is? I need to move the camera a bit. Oh, please don't do that. Please don't. Uh, it, wait, no, it's right here. Okay, I was about to say, I thought it was on that ledge. That would have really sucked. So let's see what yokai we can find. If I recall, I should know which one this one is. Uh, there he is. This one's a little tricky to get a hold of. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, there it is. This yokai is a little bit interesting. I can't really say how strong it is, but this is Enerfly. Uh, a pun on energy and. Butterfly? I don't really know, actually, but it comes with some Caden. And speaking of Caden, I, I guess you have to turn against your people, dude, because we're gonna just knock them all out. You can catch this guy if you'd like, but personally, I don't really see too big of a reason to. From what I understand, though, I think you can combine two of these, like, Butterfly Yokai together to make a stronger version of it, but outside of that, it seems kind of lackluster, which, I mean, I, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't rip on it too, <laughs> too much. Heck, I don't even know if it's strong or not, but... We have defeated it, nevertheless, so maybe it's not that good. Then again, my team is pretty broken for this point of the game. Anyways, this is Catfish Bomb, right over here, and here's also Bear! What's going on, dude? You still looking in Bear! Might as well just reuse the same sound clip and... Oh, hey, Nate. What are you doing here? I was gonna look for your mom's ring. I thought maybe I could help you. Huh? Really? Yeah, dude, and... Okay, I already got the download on what's going on. <laughs> we got lost ring, right? Not for long, we don't. That's a spirit. Dude, this guy is aw- See, I like his personality, man. It's just like, don't worry, I got this, guys, and- Whoa, we just made that splash. That was my, uh, friend. Yeah, let's see if he has any luck looking for that- Dude, that would creep me out, dude. It's like, don't worry, bear. My friends will find the ring for you. And it's like, what is- What's going on? Yeah, God, this, this would be so creepy, man, and- Found it! Dang, he works fast in attention swimmers. No wild swimming allowed. What? Oh, hello, boss yokai. God, the splash over there was even bigger. What's happening? Crazy swimming will not be tolerated on my watch. There are rules, you know. Everyone out of the pond now. Uh, really? I mean, we just got here, man. Oh, God. <laughs> Poor Wall Kappa. And yeah, just like that, a boss fight comes out of nowhere, but... Don't worry, guys. This fight is super stinking easy. You know, I might as well put Wall Cap up out first. I think I'm, I hope I'm saying his name correctly. I really want to. So this fight, honestly, it should not be too big of an issue. I'm not going to use anyone's Sultimates yet. We're just going to hang out and just do a little bit of, you know, auto damage. So this battle really is a cakewalk if you get an electric attribute yokai. I do not know why I said that word so weirdly. But you're noticing everyone's kind of doing mediocre damage. If you have a problem with that, you can easily get this yokai called... God, what is his name? I cannot remember for the life of me. Sig Nibble. That is it. He is super sneaking helpful. And wow, the boss is already at like almost 50% HP. Holy crud, this is a cakewalk, dude. <laughs> I could use my back row, which is even higher rank yokai. And I know some people are wondering this, like, what is yokai rank exactly? It basically says the potential of the yokai, if that makes any sense. It, oh god, that did a little bit of damage. I'm gonna give a sandwich to my yokai buddy, Wakapa. Peel him all the way up. So far, though, everything's going according to plan. Maybe I should not have used uh, Badignan, but... I mean, the game lets me, so I might as well. He's a little bit broken, though, and taken... Oh, here we go. So this is the thing that you want to pay attention to in this fight. When he summons this meditate... How would you even say that? I have no idea. When he summons a little fish, you want to burst him down as quickly as possible because you can quickly overrun if he gets too many fish allies up. So, this is when you'd want to use your area of effect. Sultimates like, nice to beat ya! <laughs> I love that attack, dude. 
and knock him out really quickly. And uh, you're, you're, you're gonna bring another one, even though I just beat the other one. Okay, um, multi mutt. Do your thing, dude. His uh, bite attack is also AOE, so I'll do a decent amount of damage. And oh man, I love the boss fights in this game. If that is any like, just if you're on the fence about this game, if you love really fun boss fights. Give this game a shot. It's awesome, dude. And okay, that should be enough to knock that out. Let's just end this fight with our Macho's uh, ultimate on the boss. And I cannot believe that trace actually worked. It should. Oh, he's bringing another fish. But dude, it is a little too late, man. Our damage is wait. No crap! I didn't target the. Well, that takes care of him, I guess. I don't think we've seen that ultimate. So there it is. It's pretty cool. And let's uh, go back to our charming row to get that speed increase. Nice. I love the bonus, dude. It's awesome. And I wonder if Baku's gonna get the finishing blow this time, too. I said Jabanyan, it was like, dude, he totally took the limelight from Baku, but no! It was actually Walkappa who defeated the boss with his Kappa waterfall on a water yokai. Okay, a little, uh, a little easy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and we won! Nice. That fight. Not too terribly difficult, and holy crud, Kaden is level 17, maybe I should keep him for a little longer, and dang, 41 bucks too, not bad for a boss fight. We beat the, the, the guy, I don't, I don't actually know his name, it was SV Snaggerjag, just rolls off the tongue, oh, I was told that lifeguards got more respect than this, Psst. this must be the king of catfish pond everyone's been talking about, I heard that, and yes, that was correct. Jumping into my pond is prohibited! Those sudden splashes scare the fish, you big- Oh, sorry about that. Well, we just needed the ring, man. We couldn't have worked that out and- Oh, really? Didn't know that. Sorry about all the splashing. I'm sorry, too. I guess I got a bit, you know, carried away. <laughs> Aww. It's just a big misunderstanding, everybody, and- Just be careful next time! I don't want to have to teach you a lesson to get- Yeah, I don't think you're the one that taught me the lesson there, buddy. I don't know if I could take it. <laughs> well, that's good. I mean, you know, it was it was just a big deal that got resolved, and that's nice. And yank! That ring was stuck on a rock from the bottom of the pond. Wait, really? Oh, a special ring. I wonder if that has anything to do with Bear's ring. Seems like we uncovered the truth behind that shiny bait rumor. Yeah, there's a lot of rings down there from the looks of it. Nate, what's going on here? Is this place haunted? I don't know, maybe it was the king of the catfish pond, yeah! And it looks like I found something you might be interested in. That's... wait, how did... Where, where'd you find it? This whole thing is freaking me out! Uh, don't, don't freak out, dude, it's fine. Didn't you see it was coming out from... Oh, yeah, it came out from one of the big splashes, man! I guess there's a big fish down there, and lucky for us! <laughs> Nate! Thank you so much for helping me, even though you just told me you didn't help me. Whatever, I don't care. I have to get this thing back to my mom before I lose it again. <laughs> this is gonna take a big apology to. I don't know what else to say. Oh man, I'm just happy you're happy, man. Hopefully you don't get chewed out too much and... Hey Nate, any chance you could come with me? Uh, why? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. It would help if a friend was there. I don't know if I could do this on my own. Uh, I'd be happy to, Bear. Let's go, I'm right behind you. Awesome. So hopefully, yeah. Bear's parents won't chew him out too much if we are there. So yeah, really quickly. Oh god, that is a cliff, is it not? <laughs> we need to go and just get to where Bear's parents are. I don't think we've even seen Bear's house yet, or at least I haven't shown it off is what I mean. But yeah, before we do that, we never know when we're going to get jumped. Might as well just heal up all of our yokai. And so far, dude, we are kicking. I'm loving this new team, dude. Um, it may be a little cheap that I got such strong yokai, but honestly, if you get that Sig Nibble, it's really easy too. It can be found in uh, Blossom Heights, pretty much on electric poles. So if you're ever in the area, you'll find them there. It's pretty darn easy. And now we'll be warped directly to Bear's house. And are you sure you're gonna be okay without me? I'll figure something out. Don't worry, I'll make sure Barnaby understands. I wrote down everything you need to know. Oh no, we're too late. Oh god, she's already leaving. Mom. Aww. You don't have to leave, Miss. Bear? Whatever their last name is, I don't actually know Barnaby? What happened to you? You're soaking wet! Mom, I'm so sorry. I felt so bad and I went looking for your ring. Oh, don't worry about it, Barnaby. It was a cheap old thing. Well. How about that? Cheap? That ring I gave you was what I proposed to you! 
What are you talking about? I got that ring out of a vending machine. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Don't tell me you forgot which ring you used to propose to me. Oh, of course I didn't. Uh. <laughs> well then, your father is a good man, Barnaby. He's just a bit misguided at times. God, and you chewed out your son for all that? I never take off my engagement ring, you know that. Oh, but yeah, that, yeah, that would make sense. I'm gonna show it off weekend at my class re- Wait, so you're not leaving forever? No way. Weekend reunion? Looks like you're the man of the house while I'm gone, Barnaby, because your father is so... Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> oh my gosh, so it was just... Honestly, I should have seen that coming, and in fact, I did! Your mom was just going to a class reunion? Oh, what a relief. That reminds me, I need to see... Oh, I need to RSVP for my Yokai 2000s year reunion. I can't wait to see you in bold. <laughs> you mean besides you? Anyway, it's such high drama for such a minor thing as a ring. Well, that was a chance for you and Bear to become better friends. Yeah, you're right. And also, we got Walk and I'm happy about that. I guess a good time was had by all. Except, you know, the guardian of the pond. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. See you guys in the next part. Bye.